Shalom. This is Only Love Chica from Prophetic Worldland, uncovering the Black Biblical Destiny. I'm coming from you live from Morocco, North Africa, and I'm here because my flight to Ghana, I'm um, to be with the Hebrew brethren over there and to rest and work on some projects which changed without my permission and made a day earlier, but it means that I have a day layover in Morocco. I got a free stay at a beautiful hotel and it actually showed me the importance of finding Yah in the journey and allowing Yah to change and alter our plans for something better. Sometimes we want things to go a perfect way. We get frustrated when we have denials, when we're held up, but actually Yah might be holding you up delaying you and denying and closing certain doors and rearranging other doors because he has a blessing he wants to get to you and morocco is so key for the black biblical destiny um anyone who knows of the moors knows that this was once a black empire and that there was a huge um hebrew community here and i even saw remnants of that because as we l left israel and were um take you know kind of driven out taken out migrated out we had to pass through various places in north africa and if you look at the history of certain hebrews like in nigeria you will hear of passing through morocco i think that's why um so many of us so many identify with the moorish identity and it's just a blessing to be here to walk to see the people um and to just see um this beautiful country and to be here but i didn't plan on being here which shows that sometimes you're going to be blessed in ways you didn't plan on being blessed and so we have to be flexible one thing um that morocco can teach us is how important it is for us as um people of black african descent if you want to say hebrew you can say that it's so important important for us to guard um, ourselves, guard our communities, guard our bloodlines because you can actually be pushed out when you don't. Um, and so this is a country of rich history. Um, sometimes I think in the Hebrew migration story, Morocco gets left out and we hear a lot about Egypt and you know, you may even hear about Cyrene and Libya, but Morocco was an actual um, key place that many Hebrews had to pass through. And so I'm blessed to be here today. And I wanna thank everyone for the prayers and the support. Um, Y'all willing, I'll be in Accra tomorrow and we'll be um, fellowshipping with some of the Hebrews there. Um, also, we'll be fellowshipping with the Hebrews in Nigeria and doing um, some women's ministry. And if you are of ancient Hebraic womanhood, we will be tomorrow, um, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'll be coming, y'all willing, live from Ghana. But I just wanted to encourage you that there's blessing in the alteration, there's blessing in the delay, and there's blessing in the journey. Our people, the Hebrews, were sojourning people. And so as we travel and sojourn, we actually get to um, know more about their experience because when you journey far from home you have to trust Yah in ways you never thought you did and so shalom be safe be healthy and be whole take care